Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and it's so great of you to join me today. And we're, we're still engaged in the building of the collection of Mac Minis. Uh, and I have a key part that I'd been missing until today. And it came, I'm surprised it came in the original box. It says on the back, I life 08 included, so that that dates. It's it's, it's got to be a uh, one of the uh, two comma ones because the one comma one came out in 2006. This would probably be a 2007, since I think the I life suite actually was released in 2007. Uh, oh, front row with Apple remote. How about that? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to unbox this, of course. Uh, I don't usually do unboxing videos, but, you know, to see it come in the original box is kind of special, so I thought I would share that. Now, a word of warning. I don't know if this machine is even going to boot. It may not. Uh, the seller evidently didn't test it at all. He just got it and sent it along. So, yeah, he also gave me a great price on it. I mean, I paid 20 bucks for the thing. So if it works, great, I got a great deal. If it doesn't work, no great harm done. Okay, so that opens up all the way through to there. See, the original styrofoam is still there. This is pretty cool. Ah, the mini itself in its styrofoam. That's great. All right. Now, what this has got, oh, no, that's interesting. Uh, it's got the power connector, of course, gigabit ethernet, uh, a Firewire 400 port, no 800 on this machine, DVI, four USB two ports, and a microphone headphone jack. Okay, so there's the machine. And it also came, thank heaven, with the power brick, unlike that 2009 that I had. And there's more of the original styrofoam in the bottom. That's where the power brick resided. Okay. Uh, Taking a look at the machine here. It's in gorgeous condition. It, it, it's... It almost looks like new old stock. I it, I am sure it is not. Uh, but, yeah, I, the, the condition speaks to something very good here. I think it's probably going to boot up and be just fine. But the only way to be sure will be to plug it in and see. And if you'd like to find out the answer to that, please stay tuned. Okay, so the Mini's connected. Now I have to see if I can actually reach the power button. Yes, the light went on. We get a chime, and we get video. Oh, boy. Okay, so clearly the machine is alive. That's a good thing. Let's see what we boot up in. Well, it's either Leopard or Snow Leopard. I'm kind of guessing it would be Snow Leopard, but I don't know. All right. Name of a previous owner from many, 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 many years ago. And a password. Now, remember, of course, this was sold as for parts non-working, uh, and in the description, the seller just indicated he had not tested it at all. So, uh, maybe there's no password. There's a password.
Okay, I am obviously not going to guess the password. Now, at this point, I think we have two options. One is just install an OS, either Leopard or Snow Leopard. At 2007, it would have shipped with Leopard. That's when Leopard came out. Uh, but if it was used for any length of time at all, in 2009, Snow Leopard came out. So that's why I'm kind of thinking it's going to be Snow Leopard. It would be nice to know. Uh, okay, I've got I've got installed DVDs for both of those, so we can we can deal with that. Uh, the other option, if you go into single user mode, you can instruct the computer to boot into the original setup menu which would enable me to create a completely new user account. I've never actually done that. I think maybe I will give that a try and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, I'm not exactly an expert on single user mode. Can't find it. There we go. But Command S, and here we are. Okay, so we should be ready to go. Now I looked up some commands. Uh, forgive me while I go slowly. Oh, I seem to look well, what that did was to mount the drive. Now, so far, so good. Now, oops. Okay, so the purpose of this is to remove the file that tells the machine that the initial setup is done, okay? No such file or directory, darn it. Okay, var db is a directory. Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> you know, I have put in a rogue space. Looking up these commands, it's hard to tell sometimes if there's a space in there or not. That's a trial of directory. Okay, 
Okay, l let me let me go recheck the commands. Stay tuned. Okay, uh, the the last command I typed where I took out the space after db slash then dot apple setup done. So I typed it in without that space. But I didn't put the dot in. Okay. Well, I don't think it happened, but let's see what happens anyway. I don't think it's going to work. Nope. Okay, look, I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit off camera, then we'll see. Stay tuned. And I'll be darned, here we are. <clears throat> okay, what I needed to do was to enter a command that had single user mode scan the mounted drive and change it from read only to read and write. So here we go. Okay, I gotta stop this. Okay, just so you know, the reason I stopped it was because of the welcome video, which I love. <clears throat> now, the only time I've ever received a copyright strike was for Panther. So, there you go. Well, a anyhow, I'm going to complete this. You don't need to watch me fill all this out. Stay tuned. Well, okay. Here we are. And we can check about this Mac. 10.5.5. It is Leopard. Uh, so <laughs> there's something else we're going to do is upgrade it to uh, Snow Leopard. Um... Actually, we need to bring uh, Leopard up to date, don't we? Okay. Uh, two gigabytes of memory. I was hoping it would be more than two gigahertz until Core 2 Duo. Just something. At least we've got a 64-bit processor. Uh, yeah, Mag Mini 2, 1. That's what we were looking for, all right. Uh... A two one gig dims it seems to me it can take four but it'll only show three well regardless uh oh, displays Sixty four megs, uh, integrated graphics, of course. All right, well, interesting. That that's a, the first time I, I've actually gone through that process. It, obviously, it was the first time, by the way, I was fumbling with it, but I did get it done. Um, hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I will. Definitely upgrade this machine to Snow Leopard. It's probably not worth going beyond that. Uh, as far as upgrades, I mean, there's a possibility of the RAM, but I'm, you know, I'm not sure there's any real point in that. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll get a video where we upgrade this to Snow Leopard and and see what's up with that. But I think that's going to be enough for this video. Uh, 
Ended up being pretty easy, thank heaven. Be good to other people. They need it and deserve it. Be good to yourselves. We can do a lot of good in this world, but we have to start by being good to ourselves. We can make the world a better place. It isn't yet, so please take very, very good and careful care. Uh, we have a ways to go yet with the Mac Mini uh, saga that we've gotten into. Uh, we have some Mac Pro things and some hardware upgrades on Mac Pros to do. Uh, some PowerPC things. Uh, want repair video on a, on a computer with a dead power supply. But, you know, all in all, a bunch of things. Until those things are available to see here on the channel, this has been Broken Electronics.